All right, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching this. Welcome. You join me in the bathroom with my dog. <laughs> We're starting this video here. Okay, so here's the thing. Today is December 10th. Everyone I know is out of town, so I am flying solo today, and that is perfectly fine with me. I have a laundry list of things to do to get ready for Christmas, to get into the holiday spirit. And I thought I would take you guys along with me. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, now I need stamps for all of these. I know I have some. I just need to find them. Okay, Christmas cards are done. That really took so much longer than expected. That's a little bit better. Anyways, it is 11.40. I am finally done writing my Christmas cards. I need to put them in the post, send them off. I also need to go out to the store to get stuff for what I'm baking today. But I don't think I'm gonna go out right now. <laughs> We're gonna push that off for as long as possible. Um, I am going to get started on wrapping my presents for people now. So let's do that.
Oh, again, it's been a while since I checked in face to face. Um, the brownies are still baking behind me, but I figured while we have a minute or while we have 16 minutes, let me kneel down. That's more comfortable. I wanted to talk about some feelings I had about Christmas. How appropriate, I know, right? Um, but I feel like as I get older, Christmas has become less and less exciting. It feels less and less festive. And I don't know, it's kind of sad because as kids, Christmas is such an exciting and magical time of the year. I think mostly due to the fact that we were kids and we didn't have to worry about anything. <laughs> You're on winter vacation. You really don't have to get anyone gifts because what money do you have as a child? But depending on how young you are, you still believe in Santa Claus. <sighs> Everything just seems more magical. And maybe that's just because of your innocence and naivete that you have as a kid. And, and how you lose that as you get older and become an adult and so Christmas feels less magical than it was as a kid. I felt like this for a while, quite a few years. And I thought this year, okay, I'm really going to try to make an effort to get back into the spirit of things. Uh, I have tried watching a Christmas movie every day if not every day, every other day. <sighs> other than that, <laughs> that's pretty much all I got. Um, I mean, today, you know, I'm doing all of my Christmassy things, checking them off of my list. But I don't know, it doesn't, it hasn't helped. It doesn't feel any more Christmassy than it has the previous years. I felt not very Christmassy. I think as an adult, if I were to have kids, that would help bring back the magic and essence of Christmas because then it's no longer for myself, it's for my kids and making it special for them and making it magical for them, yada yada yada, right? I don't have any kids. Um, I have a dog who literally has no concept of time nor uh, the human construct of holidays. <laughs> So there's really no comparison there. So then just trying to get back into it on my own is tough. And I know how incredibly lucky I am, especially in this day and age, in this political climate, to have a family to spend the holidays with, to have a warm, loving house filled with loved ones to go back to for the holidays each year because not everyone has that but trying to recapture the joy I once did as a kid as a child it seems less and less attainable which is really sad because this really is such a wonderful time of the year. I remember a while ago, and I can't even remember when and where I heard this. Each year of your life becomes a smaller and smaller fraction of your life as a whole. So it seems smaller and smaller. And I think that's what contributes to the fact that as we get older, every year we always say, wow, it went by so fast compared to when you were a kid. I mean, if you're five and you age another year and you turn six, that is one sixth of your life. I turned another year and that is like one twenty something of my life, which is much smaller than one sixth of my life. And I think that also contributes to this feeling of Christmas not feeling very special because this is my 20 something Christmas to spend, to be alive for, whereas when I was a kid, 
uh, that was like my eighth Christmas to be alive for. It was my sixth Christmas to be alive for. They were fewer and they meant more. Also being younger, like I said, you know, helps. I don't know. It's just something I've been feeling for a few years now, something I've been aware of, and something I have been consciously this year trying to beat. The Christmas blues. I'll have a blue Christmas. What are the lyrics? Who even sing? Elvis Presley? Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, this is why I have today. This is why I wrote Christmas cards. This is why I'm baking brownies. This is why I'm going to wrap presents. This is why I'm going to watch one of my favorite holiday movies, newer. Um, I'm saving some of the classics for when I am with family, like Elf. Anyways, I'm done rambling. It's time for me to wrap some Christmas presents. <laughs> the tape although it's not in a tape dispenser so I'm just gonna have to rip it into pieces which is fine <laughs> she's just gonna see the price on there and that's fine by me Is that fine? Can you even see that? Is that fine? Cause that's, that's what we're settling for. <laughs> okay, now I gotta be honest, not one of my finer wrapping jobs, but you know what? It is so tiny. It's okay, and I really cannot be bothered. Let's test it. 